In the beautiful spring of 2005, the anime world was blessed with the hidden gem, a shonen series that would go under the radar, a show that I believe to be one of the most underrated shonen anime out there. The series in question is none other than The Law of Ueki. So, why don't we talk about it? You know, I really do feel like I'm the only one in the world who knows that this awesome series exists. And I'm sure we all have an anime like that. And this is definitely that anime for me. Now, I actually finished watching The Law of Ueki back in late January of this year. And it really did become one of my all-time favorites so fast. Like, it's really good. People like to come at Studio Dean for being a hit or miss studio. But in all honesty, they really killed it with this one. 51 episodes of pure goodness. And before I lay down the synopsis, what makes this show underrated to me is the fact that I've never heard of it before I started watching it. So I I don't know. Again, this is one of those series where I just felt like I struck gold, you know? So basically, you're following the daily life of our boy Kosuke Ueki, a middle school student who acquired this power to turn trash into trees. Where did this odd power come from and what will he use it for, you ask? Well, in the celestial world where there's this tournament to decide who the next king will be, there are 100 celestial beings known as god candidates who must find a middle school student down on earth to give a specific power to. These middle school students known as power users must use their powers to battle each other and progress through the rounds in order for their candidate to be picked as the new ruler. Whoever wins this tournament will also be granted the blank talent which allows the power user to pick whatever kind of talent they want, but the issue here is that there are some power users who are more likely to use such a reward as a way to bring harm to the world, so it's up to the protagonist to make sure that reward doesn't make it into the wrong hands. Now hopefully I didn't lose you with all that because in actuality it's really not that complicated. Even though there's way more to everything than what I said, it's way easier to understand and keep up with when you actually watch it. But there's definitely so much more to the story and the world and the way everything works that I think you guys might find interesting. Alongside its great comedic sense which feels very natural, I can't forget to note the series feels like the perfect blend between action and slice of life it does it really well because you're really just following their daily lives, though they just so happen to be in this godly tournament. In my opinion, Ueki himself is one of the most human characters I've ever come across. I mean, just look at the dude. He looks like he's chilling 24-7. The boy doesn't need a crazy appearance to scream he's the main character. He just simply is, and a lot of the choices he makes throughout the show is just, it's hilarious, man, I gotta say. Because again, I see it as something any other human would do. But yeah, I'm just here to recommend the show to you guys. I'm not here to talk about the characters and break them down and whatnot. But the characters are another main point that definitely made this show enjoyable for me. As I've stated before, I am a firm believer in characters being able to make a show, and on top of all the other awesome points that I think the Law of Ueki has, characters are definitely a great addition to that. I also have to note, I love the art style, the art is so nice. I've also said this before, so you guys may know that my favorite era of anime is the early 2000s and the mid 2000s, and you know, the Law of Ueki is in that range. So of course when I saw that distinct art style and just the, the blend of of the time period and how animation was, it, oh, perfect, man, perfect. Speaking for the animation itself, I also find the animation to be quite good. There's also a really nice soundtrack. Every song fit its specific scene perfectly. And from soundtrack to opening, the opening is amazing. I'm holding back on singing it right now because I want you guys to experience it firsthand. It is good. I always catch myself singing it out of nowhere. It, it's so catchy. And I gotta say that goes for both openings. It only makes sense for a really underrated anime to have really underrated openings. But all in all, The Law of Ueki is an amazing anime that I've actually never heard anybody talk about before and, you know, I just wanted to bring it to light a bit more, you know? I'm sure there are people out there who have talked about it, I've just never heard anybody talk about it. Maybe one of you watching this video have seen it, you know? I mean, who knows? Also, if you've seen it, let's talk about it. I have nobody to talk about it with because none of my friends have seen it. But The Law of Ueki is also just special to me. Not only does it have everything I've always wanted in a shonen series, but, you know, to not get too deep and personal uh i was actually going through a lot in late january you know i mean nothing crazy all right it's nothing crazy but it was i was really going through some stuff and you know i was watching the law of ueki and something about it just it just brought me so much comfort like it i feel like that's what i needed you know i really don't know how to thank the show for making me smile in such tough times maybe that's why i want to tell the world about it so much but even if i didn't watch it through some tough times i'm sure i still would have enjoyed it just as much it really is a beautiful show which is why i think you should watch it that wraps up this recommendation video on the law of ueki hopefully i can make more videos on it in the future you know maybe talking about more of the character i'm saying the characters are really good i love the characters maybe talking a bit more about the characters and the different story arcs 
artworks and whatnot, but as for now, we'll leave it at this. Feel free to keep up with me on social media, I'm most active on Twitter, but links to everything will be in the description below. It's been Otaku Dreams, and that is all she wrote. Oh.